1.3 e is something like this one we know that it is given 1 by 7 is equal to 0 0.142857 if it is given you are given when we divide this one by this one you are going to get this one can you predict okay what the decimal expansion of 2 by 7 3 by 7 4 by 7 5 by 7 and not this one or we will get this one that is the quotient without actually doing log division they are asking you so if so in that case if it is true then how can you do that one how we will get this one without actual what division or that is long division ok with the help of this one ok very simple it is 1 by 7 1 by 7 you are given 0 0.142857 so you can understand this bar value is there, no? What it is? It is not by this way, it is wrong. It has the meaning, okay? This shows this one, that is 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. These digits are repeating when you divide 1 by 7. In the sense, when you divide this one, you are getting 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. And next, if we continue, you okay? get 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, something like this one we are going to get. So this group of digits, it is repeating. So if this is the case, so the meaning of this putting this bar line is that is what, okay? From here to here, you are going to get the digits repeatedly. Okay, now we will move to the solution of this one, 2 by 7. You know that one, 2 by 7 can be written as 2 into 1 by 7, is it? So look at this one, A into B upon C can be written as A by C, okay? Don't write B by C also, okay? What happens when this becomes AB upon C square? Okay, that means here, this one, what are you doing here? 2 into 1 by 7, it is same as 2 into 1 by 7 this way. Don't write into 7 all of this one. This is wrong. Okay. Now look at this one, very simple. I think you understood this one concept now. Yes, you got the logic, very simple. You know this one, 2 as it is. We know this one. What is 1 by 7 is? 0 0.142857. Is it? This way, what are you doing here now? Very simple. Multiply this one with this. So, what did you do here? 2 7 is 14. Carry 1. 2 5 is 10 plus 1 11. Carry 1. 2 8 is 16. 16 plus 1 17. Carry 1. 2 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 5. No carry now. 2 4 is 8. And 2 1 is 2. That is 0. Point. So, you are getting this one. Sorry. This is equal to 0 0.285714 like this one. Okay. Now if we have 3 by 7. Same thing goes with this one. 3 into 1 by 7 you are writing. This is 3 into 1 by 7 can be written as. Once again the same thing. 0 0.142857. Okay. What is the use of this one? Why we are doing this one? In the next five classes, you have long multiplications and division. So, if you know this type of concepts, that will help you in solving long sums. Okay. If you are interested in commerce, na, so you will get repeatedly this type of multiplication or that one. In that case, in statistics also, it will help you. This type of logic will help you in what? Simple multiplication or that one. See these things, understand and learn. Look at this one. 0 0.142857. What are we doing here? We are multiplying now with 3. Okay. 3 7 is 21. Carry 2. 3 5 is 15. 16 17. Carry 1. 3 8 is 24 plus 1. 25. Carry 2. 3 2 is 6. 7 8. 3 4 is 12. Carry 1. 3 1 is 3 plus 1. 4. This is equal to 0 0.42. Okay. The same way. I think you can understand and you can proceed. 4 into 7 means 4 into 1 by 7. We are multiplying 4 into 0 0.142857 and you will get the answer. The same way 5 by 7 and 6 by 7 you can continue. Okay. Now uh, this is uh, 5 by 7 means 5 into 1 by 7. That is equal to 5 into 0 0.142857. You will get this one. At the same time 6 by 7 is 6 into 1 by 7, this is equal to 6 into 0 0.142857. Okay, this way you are going to get this one. Okay, see when you multiply this one, you are going to get this one, and this way, and this one. And here, one more point I want to say 
So here at the same time, I am putting the bar line. So when you divide this, sorry, you divide, uh, as it is given, uh, you are going to get this repeated digits. The same what we call the, this also digits repeat. This is what, this is the way to solve this one without actual division. Okay.